Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be fetching the data from the API and display it in our mobile application. So the first thing which we'll be doing is to fetch the images at first and we will display all the images here in this position. Okay. Uh, we will uh, use one slider or maybe a swiper and we will use it here. So uh, I have already made a detailed guide how to do it and I have already published the guide on our website. So the first thing which you have to do is to visit our website. The first thing that you should do is to visit the website academy.webotype.com and here you have to visit the blog section. And then you have to click on this uh, thing, okay, how to add Swiper to Flutter app. Okay, so uh, the first thing which we have to do is to add one slider package. Okay, so for slider package, I have already selected Carousel slider. You can directly uh, check the reference from the from this website. Okay, so we'll be using Carousel slider 4.2.1. So I'll be copying the name of this package and I will then go to one file and the name of this file is pubspec.yml file which we have uh, previously visited and now uh, let us visit this that page this is pubspec.yml file and just below http package we'll be importing the package for carousel slider once we pasted the carousel slider here the next step will be to uh, click on pub get method and yes we have uh, imported this uh, package now we have to go to the home page or the home screen and then just uh, scroll down this page and we have to import this slider you can also find the information here if you if we j just go to the installing tab and then uh, you have to in import the uh, sorry uh -huh, you, you you have to import the package and then in the screen where you want the slider you need to import that package so i will i will be importing this package in this way now we have to list the sliders okay we have to uh, build a variable so let us use this method list string images equal to and we have to do it in the class home state extends state home here let us uh, list the string we, we will be making a variable and then we will use a super init uh, method uh, sorry we will be using the super init state method and here we will be calling the name of the function okay so let us copy this code as well and then you have to put this code here and uh, now the next thing will be to create the function for fetching images so let us copy the entire function and instead of this url we will have to put the api url which we have created in the last part okay so let us uh, copy so uh, yeah okay so this is the url which we are talking about and just copy the url and paste it here just copy the url and paste it here and we are done we have created the fetch images method and uh, all the errors are now gone okay now the next thing would be to make the carousel slider okay so now we have to make the carousel slider you can simply copy this code from here okay right from this section to here simply copy the code and paste it in the just below just above the container okay, in this way done and now just reload or click on hot restart we'll be able to see that oops okay so now i can see that the images we are only retrieving the name of the images okay we are only retrieving the name of the images but the actual images are not but we have to give the path for the actual image so where the actual images are being stored we have to go to boopers.tk and we have created one folder called uploads we have to go to this folder and then let us copy the variable name let us copy this variable name and slash and then png and hit enter sorry the dot is not present and now i can see the image is being displayed now okay so we have to copy the url from boopers.tk to uploads and what we will do we will simply write here single quote and inside single quote we will be uh, uh, pasting the name of that website or the path where the images are being stored in our server and the third image as well 
okay done all right so now okay done so now i will be refreshing this page or i will click on uh, run main dot dart and now i can see the images are being displayed in this section okay so as the images are being displayed from the api on our mobile application so there is no use of using this container so i will simply go down and uh, I will remove this container okay so the container which we have used for this part and here let me explain the code as well here we have used if method if there is image okay and if there is no image then this uh, carousel slider won't work but if there is any data in this uh, variable if we receive receive any uh, data in this variables in that case only the carousel slider will work and then we have given the height of 200 autoplay is being set to yes and enlarge uh, center page yes true and then we have uh, used the builder method okay and here we have used the network image this is the image url which is being retrieved from this which is being retrieved from here okay all right so now let's go to the admin panel of this website so boopers here is the username and one two three let me click on login now button and i will go to products and here i will upload some images okay so let me open canva and let us uh, create one uh, type of image here custom size let us use two four thousand or four hundred and height as height as 250 pixel and uh, the height which we have given in our app is 200 so let us use 200 instead of 250 200 and i will click on resize button here this is the image number one let me download it and share i will click on share once again i don't know why the download option is not showing up here you can access sorry it is being hidden my video is hiding it so i will click on the download button and i will download it in my desktop so that it's a bit easier for me to search these things i will save it as one and then i will select one new one and uh, i will save it as two let us click save this image as well and again i will be creating one new design and let us use s3 right so we have all the three images and all the three images are being saved in my desktop and here i will upload all the images one by one desktop and this is the image number one and then image number two and then image number three and update product okay the products have been updated now let us go to our application here i will click on hot reload button in this way and let us say if the images which we have just uploaded in our admin panel are updated or not or if we click on hot restart let us check whether the api is giving us those images or not okay now i can see all the images let us zoom this one so all the images which we have uploaded in our admin panel are being displayed inside our application okay so we can also give some gap in between the slider or the carousel slider or maybe the swiper and uh, the app bar okay to do it we can simply uh, use padding here let me cut it and then i will write padding and here padding will be uh, we will use the method age insets dot only and we will give top padding top and 20 and there will be one comma and we will use the child and the child will be that carousel slider okay done and unexpected else okay where did it find the unexpected else
error unexpected else or comma so here we have to give one more comma okay now we can see there is a nice gap between the app bar and the carousel slider or the swiper okay so that's all for today in the next video we'll be designing the uh, title of the product the description of the product we will also give buy now and add to cart buttons so thank you for watching this video subscribe this channel for further updates